In software development, maintaining clean and consistent code is very important. But ensuring code quality and consistency in a project, especially when the teams grow, can be quite challenging. That's where Prettia comes in. Pretty is a code formatter platform that automatically formats your code. So today I'm going to show you how to install and configure Prettier in your Node.js project written with TypeScript. Alright, so let's get started. Let's take a look at why we should use Prettier. First of all, consistency. Prettier formats our code to be consistent across the entire code base. And it ensures all the team members write the code in the same format. And it's also time saving. With Prettier, developers don't need to manually format code. So no need to take meetings to discuss code reviews about code formatting. And it also improves the code readability. Pretty improves code readability because consistently formatted code is easier to read and understand. And it also reduces errors. When manually formatting, it can introduce errors. For example, when collaborating on code with multiple team members, so it can be, it can be confusing. So, using Prettier makes it more accurate. Alright, so that's some benefits of using Prettier. So, let's dive into our project and start configuring Prettier. Here I have a simple Node.js project written with TypeScript. First of all, I'm going to open up the terminal and I'm going to install Prettier. npm install and I'm going to install this as a dev dependency. So dash dash save dash dev and I'm going to use this dash dash save dash exact uh, option as well because someone is going to work on this project in the future I want them to use the same exact uh, version of pretty so that's why I use this save dash exact uh, option All right the then the package name prettier all right hit enter and this will install prettier package on your node.js project all right so the installation is complete let's uh, let's try running some commands on our project first of all let's uh, open up the open up some file in our project and let's Try running this command npx prettier and check then the uh, file path. In this case, let me copy the relative path and hit enter, and it will show you what are the formatting errors on this uh, on this file. So as you can see this is giving me some warnings about the uh, code style in this file it says some uh, code style issues found in this file run prettier to fix so, alright so let me clear this so let's run prettier instead of this check command check option I'm going to add this right option and let's hit enter and let's see what happens as you can see this file was a little bit modified it wrote this file again with the correct formatting if i press undo as you can see the indentation and others uh, some other stuff is a uh, little bit different so as you can see, the file is now modified according to the correct formatting uh, by Prettier. So this way you can format your code uh, as the correct formatting and consistency. Anyway, you might be thinking, how can you run this command on the entire project and correct the formatting when writing code in real time? because it's not possible to run this command on each and every file of the project, right? Because there can be hundreds of files in the project. 
So there must be an easier way for this, right? Yes, there is. Almost every IDE or code editors now has this feature of running this when a file is modified. So in this case, we are using VS Code. So let me close this and uh, let me open up extensions. In this search bar, search for Prettier. It gives me some, some plugins and make sure to install the official one uh, developed by Prettier. So I have already installed it and enabled it. Make sure you install it and enable it and restart the IDE. All right, so I have pretty in place in my VS Code. Now let's open up the settings section. Let me just close this and uh, in the settings section, again search for prettier. So in this settings sections, in this text editor section, make sure you select prettier as the default code formatter. In this default formatter section, in this drop down menu, make sure to select prettier formatter. Alright, so as you can see, there are some other settings for prettier as well. Well, I'm not going to change them, I'm going to keep them as it is because I'll tell you the reason in a minute. And before closing this, I'm going to search for another, another settings. It's called format on save so what this does is it automatically formats the file when you are saving it so make sure you tick this uh, option as well so already it's already on on my vs code so i'm going to close this so now when you are saving your file it automatically formats your code let me open up one of my files Let's make some changes to this file. Let's uh, make it ugly. And when I hit save, it automatically formats it. And do some more changes. And again, it automatically uh, formats the code. Pretty cool, right? The reason I didn't make any changes to the prettier configuration in VS Code is that it's it's a local configuration here in this project I want to have a separate configuration file for the entire project so the every developer work on this project has the same configuration as me when they are writing code uh, on this project all right so let's create a configuration file for this project so in the root in the project root let me create a new file and let's name the file dot prettier rc just like this here in this prettier rc file we can define our rules for prettier and by the way you can find all the rules in the prettier documentation so i'm just going to add some basic rules here let's say um let's say you don't like the semicolon because in javascript semicolons are optional right so let's add some rules to our pretty rc file let's say semi false so this rule says uh, don't add semicolons so if i open up our index file and hit save and it will automatically removes semicolons let me zoom this little bit so let's let's change it back to true and now let's save this and it will automatically add semicolons back and let's add some other rules as well let's say um single quotes so what this rule says is uh, add single quotes instead of double quotes so in our 
index file we have some double quotes let's see what happens when we save this and all the single quotes all the double quotes were converted to single quotes all right so that feature is pretty cool we can define any rule we want we can set the indentation we can set whether we want semicolons or not and stuff like that all right so let me close this and what if we don't want some files to be formatted for example let's say we don't want our node module folder to be uh, formatted by prettier because it has thousands of files and they are written by some other developers it's not our business to change them and and this this folder because it has some minified javascript so we don't want to format them either so how we can tell prettier that we don't want these files to be uh, formatted yes there is an option let me create another file in the root i'm going to name that dot prettier ignore just like git ignore we can write down all the files and folders that we don't want prettier to format so by default node module folder is ignored by prettier but in some case if that doesn't work you can simply add node module just like this me open up the terminal let me close this older ones and uh, let's um, let's run this command and let's see what are the folders that is uh, getting ignored or that it considered by prettier npx prettier double dash dash check then dot so as you can see currently it considers this disk folder but it doesn't consider a node module folder by default so let's uh, tell prettier we don't want this disk folder to be uh, to format so i'm going to include this disk all right so let's uh, run that command again now we don't see that this folder in this list because it is ignored by prettier and also you can tell prettier that you don't want certain file like let's say you can you can write down something like this and uh, prettier will ignore all the uh, files with js extension uh, in the, the whole project so this way we can configure this as we want and get the most of this package all right, so now our Node.js project is configured with Prettier and the code is now formatted with a consistent coding style across the entire project. All right, so I hope you enjoyed the video. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already and I'll see you guys very soon in the next video.